hi guys hello so this is the video blog on finding the block sizes of different oracle database files so when i say uh, different oracle database files you might be thinking about you know data files you might be thinking about redo log files control files alert log files and you know uh, archive log files etc etc but no we are not going to cover all these things but what i meant really was uh, finding out the block sizes for control files and redo log files in specific. Probably if you are an Oracle DBA, uh, you might be already knowing that this block sizes can be controlled and can be varied from table space level to a different table space level. And uh, when you know, when you set the default block size at the instance level, uh, we would probably def we would probably know that you know system table space, socks table space, and undo whatever gets created by default will have the same block size. So I'm not going to go in depth about you know block sizes on the data files because it is uh, well known if you search anywhere you might find it very easily but the one topic that I got very interested with to share with you guys is finding out the block sizes of control files and redo log files and what makes difference if you get the flexibility of changing the block sizes whether you have the chance of changing the block sizes or whether you don't that is what the main concentration of this particular video blog and uh, if you have seen my actual blog i have actually given you the uh, commands and the same thing whatever i'm going to discuss in the blog as well in this blog and the same thing we are going to discuss in this video session as well and as i say uh, that we are going to basically see uh, the control files on the environment and the redo log files on the environment with 12c database installed and then I am I have this 12c database running on Oracle Enterprise Linux operating system so that is my system consideration and I'm not using any multi-tenancy architecture but uh, even if it is multi-tenancy there is no difference with respect to the control file and redo log file but still I'm just making up my you know environment uh, setup upfront so that you are not confused later what was the you know version of database I used in this video and as you see uh, uh, on the screen uh, as I told you sorry that data I mean we are going to discuss about the block size and redo log file size block sizes but please remember that why did I get to know all these things is just because I have seen a very huge performance impact of not knowing the redo log size block sizes so whenever we define a redo log size you should also have to know what is the default block size that it has allocated and will that impact your performance or not this was the main case that i had to face you know in my recent past and then i identified that definitely the block size of the redo log files will make some difference to the performance it might impact very badly and it might not impact at all depending on what is your setup is actually and then control files because i had to look at redo log files closely then i moved uh, you know a little ahead and then I saw the control file block sizes as well so those are the things that we are going to now uh, look up and then we understand them how does they do so to do this uh, I basically connect to my system so let me show you an example and this is my one of the systems which I connected to and I have my listener running on the server and the database running and the database which I will be using the name is Ora CDB3 that's what it is so I'm connecting to it so before I go ahead and check and tell you guys how do we basically look at block size of the control file let me see what is the default block size of the database with respect to the parameter called db underscore block underscore size so just say show parameter db underscore block underscore size yeah so it is 8 kb so just make a note of it it's 8 kb of default db block size and now let us basically see what is the block size of your control file you can get the block size of the control file from uh, v dollar control underscore file i hope this is uh, available from 11g but i'm not sure what was it before uh, 11g that is in 10g uh, so select you have here a column called block underscore size from v dollar control file and if you see there are two control files on my system and each control file has got the block size of 16 KB so this is little interesting because the default block size that we have seen is 8 KB but still you see the block size of your control file is not 8 KB it is 16 KB instead and 
at the end of uh, this blog, I mean this video blog, I will also tell you why, you know, where does this actually default DB block size will be affected with. So now coming back to this discussion, yes, 16 KB is what the default control file block size that Oracle defines irrespective of any platform that you are using, irrespective of this parameter value, irrespective of the sector sizes. That means the media sector and whatever storage sector sizes that you specif specify, irrespective of all those things, the only block size that can have, I mean, that you can have for the control file is 16 KB. And if you ask me whether this 16 KB can be alterable or amendable, no, it cannot be changed. So 16 KB is the minimum and the maximum size of the control file so far that Oracle has designed with. And if you ask me, do we will we have this impact of 16 KB default block size that cannot be alterable uh, if we have a different storage or the operating system architecture? Definitely yes, but only if your operating system minimum block size supportable is more than 16 KB, which is not there so far. That means if you have an operating system which can only support a minimum block size or the page size or you know the storage size which can only support minimum of 32 KB of you know uh, block size then there might be a problem with control file. Apart from that you know if you have 4 KB uh, minimum of 4 KB blocks that your storage and the operating system supports then definitely that 4 into 4 that means 4 physical blocks are you know logically combined to one you know block of the control file similarly if you, if it supports 8 kb of minimum block size then two 8 kb blocks will logically be binded as you know one uh, control file block size this is how it is apart from that i don't see any problem with you know uh, control file default and the minimum and the only uh, block size that is possible with the control file and now let us move ahead with what is the default block size of my redo log files so I can get it from v dollar log. So let me just see describe v dollar log. As you see here, uh, block size is the one. So select block size from v dollar log. And as you see, my default block size for each and every redo log file that I have is 512 bytes. And this is the default Oracle defined redo log file block size. But please remember, this can be alterable. But you know, uh, what are the different sizes that Oracle database can support? And again, remember, Oracle database redo log files cannot support varieties and you know, any block size of your wish. It can only support 512 bytes or one kilobyte or four kilobytes. That's it. You cannot have one kilobyte and you cannot have, uh, sorry, you cannot have two kilobytes, you cannot have eight kilobytes, etc., etc. So just to prove that, I'm trying to add a new redo log group with, you know, one kilobyte and four kilobytes and also eight kilobytes. Let us see that. So as you see, yes, it is saying invalid block size. That's fine. Let us discuss about it later. And then again, it says, uh, let us try with four kilobytes. What does it say? It says that, see, there is something interesting here. It is not compatible with the disk sector size. The media sector size is only 512 and the host sector is also 512. So that means this is the storage sector size compatibility and this is your operating system sector size compatibility, which is only 512. That's the reason you cannot have four kilobytes. And let me try with, you know, uh, eight kilobytes. And again, it says invalid block size. Now, the interesting fact is Though the Oracle says that the only three possible block sizes for the redo log groups are 512, 1024 and 4096, you can see that 1024 it says as invalid block size. This is because 1024 is the block size that is only supportable on very few operating system platforms. So this is the one that is not supported on Oracle Enterprise Linux. And one more thing is the next command or the next size of the redo log group block size that is acceptable is four kilobytes. And this is completely incompatible. It should be completely compatible with the block size or the media sector size on which you are going to create this redo log group. That means this mount point called slash PDB data doesn't have the media sector sizes of 4096. So to have 
you know, redo log groups of four kilobytes, definitely your disk has to be emulated to support four kilobytes of sectors. If you don't have that sectors of four kilobytes, you cannot use redo log groups of four kilobytes of block size. And please remember, even though if you have your blocks or the sectors, uh, storage sector supporting four kilobytes, and if you try to create a redo log group of four kilobytes, make sure it continuously supports it because there is lot of redo log wastage expected from a four kilobyte block size of redo without, I mean, when you compare with 512 bytes of redo. That is the reason mostly we prefer 512 kilobytes, or sorry, 512 bytes of redo. And only when we have a storage levels, you know, up to the mark with a better compatibility in place, then we would go with four kilobytes because we know that the larger the block size will basically help the transactions to be faster. Right, because you know, the transactions can keep writing into the redo log groups, the large number of transactions can be, you know, taken at one stretch to one uh, block of your redo log write instead of multiple chunks of redo log writes into the redo log file. So there are definitely positives as well as negatives, but that's what it works with. So uh, this is all about the block sizes of your control files and redo log files with respect to the Oracle database. So I would like to conclude this, but before that, this was the main problem I actually faced in my, you know, one of my database environments. That was the main cause of me coming back. I mean, uh, writing this blog and letting you guys know that if you have a redo log write problems, just check the compatibility between and you just check the block size uh, of your redo log files and then the storage compatibility and then try to see where is the problem. And the moment I, uh, uh, I mean, uh, once I saw this problem, then I was able to identify that there is a lot of redo log wastage with this command, which is sysstat where redo wastage. If you see here, yes, there is a wastage here, even with 512 bytes, but when I saw with four kilobytes of data, I saw very huge amount of redo log wastage. So that is where, you know, you are trying to basically, uh, ha I mean, held up with unnecessary writes on the disk that will basically let the processor to wait for the write to complete and come back, right? That's where you see the performance problem. And uh, this is what it is. And please remember that if your disk supports four kilobytes of, you know, sector pages, you can have 512 bytes of redo log groups and also four uh, kilobytes of redo log groups, but it is not at all advisable to use it. And then, and then as you see that, uh, though the media sector is 512 bytes, I am able to have the control file with 16 kilobytes. That means, you know, uh, 512 bytes of 32 blocks can be combined and can behave as 16 kilobytes of block for your control file, but vice versa doesn't work. You cannot have 16 kilobytes of redo log group block size, and you cannot expect 512 uh, chunks of, you know, uh, all those things to act as logically block size to the redo log group. It doesn't work in that way. That means if you have a redo log group block size of certain size, you expect the same block size should be physically existing inside your storage. It cannot logically bind it. And that's what I should say you. So this is what I understood from, you know, uh, the uh, uh, experience that I had uh, very near by, I mean, uh, just recently. And I hope this helped you a lot. Thank you. So hope you liked the video session. So if so, please subscribe to our channel. You'll be, I'll be trying to, you know, push up the more interesting concepts like this going forward.